Hey, welcome back to Tripod's Garage. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my channel. If you could please hit subscribe and hit that little bell notification, you never miss out on any of the awesome content that I've been delivering to you. And we know it's awesome. Don't deny it. You know it's awesome. Well, I recently posted something on my Facebook page that grew a little bit of attention. It's, uh, it's called lithopanes. And it's, that's what these things are right behind me. They're 3D printed pictures. You can print them up of anything that you want. Um, it's, they're really easy to do on a 3D printer and since now that I'm able to print in the nice low temperatures of the Midwest without my uh, enclosure that I'm still waiting on parts for, as soon as I get them all in, we're going to tackle that on a future video. But it's really easy how to get these going. Um, you get your 3D printer as long as you have one. You have some um, filament that's translucent. I'm using this filament right here. It is a um, just a white PLA. Um, internet access, hope you have it. I'm going to show you two web pages that you just upload an image to. You do a few modifications, you save it down, then you go ahead and load it onto your Acura. Well, it's locked, but onto Acura, do a few tweaks on there. It's basically temperatures, retraction, um, and you know, speed, and that's about it. Save the file and a print and that's it. So without further ado, let's show you that process and so you can start creating your own if you have a 3D printer. So the first site we're going to go to is lithophanemaker.com. You could do a lamp shade, you could do a Christmas ornament, you could do a nightlight thing, a cube, a globe, a regular flat one, um, another lamp shade, some cylinder thing, color thing yes it's loaded up here so yeah um, we're just gonna do the we're gonna flat you could just choose your file I'm gonna just do my dog bear and we're gonna just scroll down here a little bit you got all these settings on the left we're just gonna keep them the way it is we can always increase the size what we want in Cura on the right I'm going to just move this up a little bit to one and that way I have his whole face but you do have to register before you download. Uh, as you can see, it does require it, and then you could export it. Now we're going to take the file of my buddy Bear. We're going to drop him into Cura. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the speed here. I want to make sure that it goes nice and slow so it takes forever to print this out. So we're going to just change that to 70. Actually, it's a good thing to do it because it's such a detailed print. You want it to go as slow as possible, but not too slow where you it just never prints. Then after that, we're going to change the infill. We want this to be 100%. This is crucial that you do this. It has to be 100%, otherwise it's not going to work. Then we're just going to check our retraction settings. So I keep these around the same. 6.5 is good enough. And that would be the last setting that we check. Um, besides temperature, you know, normal PLA temperature, I do mine at 210 and uh, my uh, bed at 75. You don't have to do that. I do mine because I'm printing a little bit uh, in the cold, but you do what you need. Last, we're going to go ahead and save this file. Wow. 12 hours and 26 minutes. Whoever thunk? Well, it's because you're doing 100% infill at a nice slow pace. So, all right, let's get this on the printer and see how it looks.
Here's the next site that we're going to use it is a 3dp.rocks forward slash lithopane. I'm going to just use a picture of my daughters there, the top two girls, and their cousins, which is the bottom three girls. Here we're going to just uh, go through and do a few settings on here. Actually, we're only going to tweak one, believe it or not. But I'm going to still show you what the site has. So we're going to just click on Model Settings. We're going to just leave everything default. Uh, remember, we could actually do a lot of these changes within um, Cura if needed, but honestly, they stay the same. Now we're going to choose image settings. This is the most important thing you need to do here. You need to make sure this is all the way over on positive image. If you do anything else, it's just not going to work. Yeah, so now we're going to just go back to the view. Um, I'm not going to do a flat view. I'm going to do a curved outer view. Just hit refresh. It's going to just prop it up on end. And now we're going to just take a look. Yep. Looks good to me. And then we're going to just go ahead and click the download button. There's no registering or anything. Um, you just download, save the file. All right, you're going to now just open the file up in Cura. We're going to make sure that our info density is at 100%. It has to be at 100%, just like the last one we did. Then we're going to set the temperature. I do, no, I just do 210 and, and 70 just because I'm special. No, the temperature is in the garage, say so. It helps better. 70 for my print speed, nice and slow. That's just the way it is, guys. You want to do it slow because it's you're going to get all that detail in there. Do it fast, it's going to look like garbage. And then we're just going to double check the retraction. I keep mine at like a 6.5, and yep, everything still the same. For this one, I am doing a raft. You choose if you want to or not, but for me, I believe with having this thin of a print, it's most likely best to have a raft. But you do what you want, I can't twist your arm, so that's just what I'm doing. Well, six hours and 44 minutes. You know what? I think we need to increase the size of this thing. I think it just will not turn out well if we don't. So let's bump this up about another 50 and see how long that will take. Yeah, that's more like it. 22 hours and 39 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So let's go ahead and save it and throw it on the printer.
as I promised, not that difficult at all, right? You just have to have internet access, be able to upload a couple pictures, do some tweaking of them, bring them back down, load into Cura, do a couple more tweaks, and just off to printing. You know, the most difficult part is waiting, right? So you have, you know, just for the small one, it was uh, 12 hours. And this one, it's a little bit bigger, 24 hours. But you know what? Kind of has a little bit of a wow factor. I mean, I can see what the appeal of these, right? Think about how long it took someone, an artist, to do this on a porcelain ceramic back in the day. And now we're just whipping it out on the 3D printer. But anyways, that's all I have. Uh, until the next video, I really appreciate you watching, taking time out of your day. If so, you could please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. We'll see you the next time.